So I get it, guys. That's not a scientific test by any means. It's just a quick and dirty. Let's throw some stuff at gas tubes and see what happens, right? And and see what we learn from from doing that. And uh, what I saw right out of the gate was the the stainless steel uh, by itself predictably uh, failed the fastest. But uh, what really surprised me was uh, how well nitride gas tube was really holding on against the uh, Inconel gas tube. I mean, it really gave uh, gave it a run for its money. One thing that still struck me, though, about the nitride gas tube is it still had that stainless steel base. And as we saw with the stainless steel gas tube, it wants to warp around on you a little bit when it starts getting too heat saturated. So the, uh, the nitride suffered that same problem. So even though it was able to hold on for about as long as we were saying under the torch conditions um, before it ultimately was cut all the way through, it still wanted to bounce around on you a little bit. And that bouncing around may actually cause a failure on your rifle uh, way before you burn a hole all the way through your gas tube. Now, the Ankenel, um, what I saw with it is when it finally did give up, uh, it, it, it collapsed all at once. So it was trying to hold on to its geometry to the last possible moment um, before it gave out. Now, a lot of people may say, why would you even want a more temperature-resistant gas tube? Isn't this the uh, shear pin for the AR-15 so you don't ruin your barrel? Here's the thing, guys. AR-15s are closed-bolt guns. Closed-bolt guns have another issue that occurs before your barrel gets ruined, and that is cook-offs. See, with an open-bolt gun, you keep the bolt back, and then as soon as you want to fire... You release the bolt, and as it at the very second it chambers around, it fires it. Okay, so what this allows you to do is melt your freaking rifle or machine gun into the ground. With a closed bolt gun, that's not an option. So it chambers around and it sits there until you give it the command to fire. Uh, but if the barrel gets too hot, you have a condition what they call cook-offs, where the temperature of that barrel is so hot, it will ignite that powder by itself. So it causes unsafe operation of the firearm, and it causes malfunctions of the firearm that uh, may shut her down. The beauty of it, though, is you can let the gun cool, and then it's ready for service again. Now, here's the problem. If you have the so-called shear pin, and this pops on you... Uh, you're just done. You're done. And if you go watch like Mr. Guns and Gear or Iraq Veteran 888, you can see all their AR-15 meltdown videos. And you see one or two things happen around the 500-ish round count is either the gas tube pops on you and then your gun's down and you're taken into the armorer's bench or you start having cook-offs and then the gun cools down and then you can start shooting again. So if I had the choice between one or the other, I'd rather uh, not have my gas tube pop. So that's kind of my thoughts on um, why, you know, you should be looking at one of these uh, more temperature resistant gas tubes, uh, depending on uh, how much you want to invest in that uh, insurance. Okay, guys, that's what I got. Small Team Supply, out.